Mohan Lal, a prosperous farmer, has a square land of say 2 kilometers. For the current season, he decides to have some fun. He marks two distinct points on one of the diagonals of the land. Using these points as centers, he constructs two circles. Each of these circles falls completely within the land and touches at least two sides of the land. To his surprise, the radii of both the circles are exactly equal to 2 by 3 kilometers. Mohanlal plants potatoes on the overlapping portion of these circles. Calculate the area on which Mohanlal planted potatoes. Lovely, lovely, lovely question. So let's draw the square. Square of side 2 kilometers. He marks two distinct points on one diagonal. So diagonal, let's say square is A, B, C, D. The diagonal B, D is 2 root 2 kilometers. He constructs two circles. Each of these circles falls completely within the line and touch, touches the other two sides. Are exactly two thirds of a kilometer. Two thirds of a kilometer and touches this. So, some center, somewhere here, this is two thirds. This is two thirds. So, we are drawing a circle like this. Likewise, from somewhere here, this is two thirds, this is two thirds. We are drawing a circle like this. This is 2 by 3. This is 2 by 3. Let's say this circle has a center of P. This center circle has a center of Q. Lovely. We want to find the... What does he do? He plants potatoes on the overlapping area. That is this area, this region. He plants potatoes. Let's find some simple lengths. We know BD is 2 root 2. A nice square. So DP is 2 by 3 root 2. A square. A 45 degree angle. 2 by 3, 2 by 3, 2 by 3, 2 by 3. QB is also 2 by 3 root 2. Lovely. Radius is two-thirds is two-thirds root two two by three two by three and so two root two I'm gonna write it as six root two by three there's a two root two by three this is two root two by three this is two root two by three overall distance is six root two by three or PQ is also two root two by three lovely so let's join this common chord and call that say MN. So if you find the area of this segment and then we double it, we are through. How do you do that? Join PM, join MN. Lovely. So this is 2 root 2 by 3, that is PQ. And so PM is 2 thirds. Pn is two thirds. We need to still find area of that, that, that segment M and either this part or this part. It doesn't matter. Let's say let we call this K N L M, either M L N or M K N. That segment, both of them. And so M Q is two by three. Q N is 2 by 3 PQ is 2 root 2 by 3 now just think once again I'm going to 2 by 3 2 by 3 2 root 2 by 3 I'm thinking about triangle PMQ the sides are 2 by 3 2 by 3 2 root 2 by 3 PMQ PM is 2 by 3 MQ is 2 by 3, PQ is 2Q by 3. Are there in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to root 2? Or there's a right angle sitting here. PMQ is a right angle. This is a right angle. So this is a nice rhombus with one angle of 90, 
or we're dealing with a beautiful square. This makes life very easy. Finding area of this segment suddenly became very easy because we're thinking about one quarter circle minus area of a triangle. So we're going to isolate this segment. So that segment is one fourth of pi into 2 by 3 square minus half into base into height half into 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 the sides are 2 by 3 and 2 by 3 that's the radius so pi by 4 into 2 by 3 square minus half into 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 that is the area of that segment but our good man is not just cultivating this he's cultivating twice of this wonderful or we are looking to calculate two times of pi by 4 into 2 by 3 square minus 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 take away the 2 by 3 square outside 2 into 4 by 9 whole into pi by 4 minus 1 by 2 this 8 by 9 into pi minus 2 by 4 2 by 9 into pi minus 2 2 by 9 into pi minus 2 thankfully that choice exists otherwise you would have spent so much time on a wild goose chase and once again excellent excellent question methodically we can solve it in a lot of these questions back yourself to find something special Given the distance between the two centers and the radii, you'll get either an equilateral triangle or an isosceles right angle triangle. So the, the anything else, this question becomes impossibly tough. It turns out that that shape PMQN, the beautiful, delightful shape in between, is a square. If it were not a square, we're running on a wild goose chase. Because it's a square, life becomes simpler. So back yourself to find something, feature something like that and then solve methodically. Hush.